Well, hey, we're Trey and Melody Lover, and we're the host of Undone Redone, the podcast where we're not afraid to look around through the lens of messy. And we're very qualified to talk about messy. Trey and I were married for 11 years and divorced for six years and have been remarried for five years. And we love to bring people on the show that can talk about their own Undone Redone message. So look for us on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. We'd love to have you tune in. Also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Undone Redone. Tune in, the show where we talk about the messiness of life. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, September 18th. I'm James Spann. Uh, looks pretty quiet for the rest of the week, but the models are really trending wet for the weekend. And the tropics all of a sudden are of great interest. So a lot of things to talk about here, and we'll do that. Let's go to some of the sky cam shots. This kind of looking out the window at about 5 o'clock this morning. That's a view coming from uh, Birmingham, looking over toward the Children's Hospital of Alabama. There's a look at downtown Fayette. Things are nice and quiet there. I like that shot. Look at the moon over Gulf Shores. Uh, they'll be okay uh, today and tomorrow, but their rain chances will clearly be going up this weekend as well if you're headed down that way. For now, ridging is a story across the southeastern states in the upper levels. Uh, big trough in the Pacific Northwest. That's going to be a player in the weather as the weekend approaches. We'll have some good dynamic forcing from that thing, helping to increase the rain chances this weekend. And also a, a wedge-type front came through yesterday. What a, what a contrast. Uh, this morning, you can see the cooler air over East Alabama, where they've got 64 at Gadsden and Fort Payne, but over in Tuscaloosa, they've got 72. At one point yesterday afternoon, we had upper 70s near the Georgia border and low 90s over in West Alabama. So the eastern side of the state should be a little cooler today. Highs for most everybody in the 80s. And around the nation, nice and chilly up in the northeast. Everybody in the 30s and 40s up there. It feels very crisp and refreshing. Severe weather possibilities today can find may basically to the Dakotas and Minnesota. Tomorrow, slight risk of severe weather through much of Wisconsin, extending down toward Kansas City. And that's along that cold front that's moving our way. And look at this. This is the rain through Monday morning of next week, and all of a sudden the numbers are really coming up. Uh, this is showing rain amounts of at least two inches over much of the state, three inches down around Mobile. And uh, the idea is that we're going to have good dynamic forcing uh, with the cold front, and we're going to have a tropical connection with maybe the remnants of uh, Ingrid involved in this thing, and that's one of the reasons all of a sudden the heavy rain idea is on the table. Now, speaking of tropics, this is where we stand this morning. Uh, Umberto, of course, is in the middle of nowhere, stays in the middle of nowhere. The disturbance that's over the Yucatan and Belize, that's the one to watch. It's very disorganized this morning, but there's clear... Uh, you know, circulation going on here, and a good chance this becomes Tropical Storm Jerry once it gets across the Yucatan. Now, here's the modeling. All of a sudden, instead of this thing, you know, moving into Mexico, uh, the models are showing weak steering currents and the thing just meandering down there in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico through 72 to 96 hours. And you can see some models even want to bring it up this way. Uh, now, understand the rain we're talking about here on Saturday uh, would not be related to this. This is related to the remnants of, of Ingrid in a, in a front. Uh, this is the European ensemble, and uh, that's very interesting. This is a 50-member ensemble, and uh, the, the, median, the mean is that black line that kind of brings it up toward, you know, Panama City. And this is just, you know, voodoo at this point. It's just all of a sudden an idea that has been introduced on the table. This still could go into Mexico uh, and not bother us at all. Uh, but there's some uncertainty and it bears watching. And it could be a situation where there's great weeping and gnashing of teeth with this thing. And, you know, there's a lot of latent heat energy in the Gulf. It's pretty much been untapped, the northern Gulf. And if this thing uh, does happen to meander up this way, it could be a problem. Here's the intensity guidance. And uh, you've got some models that do not develop this thing at all. Uh, including the GFDL, but other models ramp it up to Tropical Storm Jerry and ultimately Hurricane Jerry. So great uncertainty, but just something to watch. All right, let's take a look at this weather situation. A lot of questions, especially for Saturday and the weekend. This is where we are at uh, 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is the OZGFS, and this is at 500 millibars, upper high on the Louisiana coast, big trough in the northwest. And down below that, you can see how you've got that uh, cooler air slipping in here from the east. The surface high is near Delaware. So uh, today will should be uh, a day with only isolated showers. Most areas dry, 
uh, low to mid 80s. Most places a bit cooler today. Tomorrow, dry and warm. Highs in the middle 80s. Friday, we're still dry. And again, you can see the players in the field kind of getting together for the weekend. We've got that front coming in from the north and west. Maybe some type of tropical mischief down in the southwestern Gulf. And the remnant moisture from Ingrid is riding up that front through Texas. So let's take a look at Saturday. And you can see a really nice uh, trough coming in to support the front with good upward motion. And down below that, a surface low is over southwestern Mississippi. And, you know, the GFS has shown this. It's, you know, you know, it's been in different places each run. But if this is right, the rain could be heavy Saturday afternoon and Saturday night over uh, at least the northern half of the state. Let's go to 7 p.m. Saturday, Central Time. All right, now we've got at this very moment Auburn playing football in LSU, Alabama playing football in Tuscaloosa. Now, if this is correct, there's a good chance of still raining at Baton Rouge, but the rain should taper off during that game. But the rain would be very heavy in Tuscaloosa for the whole ball game. I mean, this would be a soaker Saturday night at Bryant-Denny Stadium. I'm not saying it will be. I'm just saying this model run is showing that it could be. And uh, certainly we're going to ramp up the chance of rain uh, Saturday night, and the rain might be heavy. So this is not the news you want to hear, but that's uh, what this run is suggesting. And look at this now. Sunday morning at 7 a.m., it's still wet over much of the state. The rain is beginning to end over northwest Alabama, but a surface low is around uh, Orange Beach and Gulf Shores. And then Sunday evening at 7, that thing is just creeping over toward uh, Dothan and, you know, Defuniac Springs, Florida. And we've still got moisture wrapping in here, and Sunday would be wet at times if this run is right. So just be aware of that. And if you really want to get funky, look at the Canadian. Uh, this is valid Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. It has uh, uh, this really deep 994 millibar low that's up around Haleyville with tremendous rains falling from uh, Nashville down through East Alabama. And this is an outlier. This is solution is rejected. Yeah, it basically suggests a hurricane kind of thing coming up and through here. That's an outlier. And, again, we're not going to accept that solution. Uh Let's look at the GFS rain totals valid through Sunday at midday where you see the colors of red. Uh, that's three inches of rain over a pretty good chunk of Alabama. Uh, so all of a sudden now concern is there for heavy rain. Uh, of course, we've not had rain for a while, so the flash flood guidance is pretty high, but some localized flooding certainly a possibility. And again, this is not that tropical system that could be Tropical Storm Jerry. Part of the reason for the heavy rain this weekend would be the remnants of Ingrid uh, coming up through uh, Mexico into Texas and riding up along that front. So uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to be more pessimistic in the weekend forecast and really up the chances of rain Saturday, Saturday night, maybe into part of the day Sunday. So just stay tuned. Monday, the GFS has the surface low. Uh, around Cape Fear, North Carolina, and we have improving weather uh, with the uh, sun breaking out and highs around 80. And then uh, the rest of the week looks pretty quiet. This is Tuesday, and there's a week from today on Wednesday. All right, let's check the end of the forecast. October 3rd, westerly's a little north of here. Got a flat ridge across the deep south and uh, maybe a shower or two here, but that would not be all that wet if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today, so be sure and watch that for an update. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.